हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन जाइलिंग विवाडो सॉफ्टवेयर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अ ब्रीफ ट्यूटोरियल ऑन टाइमिंग एनालिसिस यूजिंग जाइलिंग विवाडो सो इन दिस वीडियो आवर ऑब्जेक्टिव विल बी टू फाइंड द मोस्ट क्रिटिकल पाथ इन ए कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट एंड ए क्रिटिकल पाथ इज द पाथ इज द पाथ विच इज हैविंग द लॉन्गेस्ट डिले बिटवीन द इनपुट पॉइंट एंड द आउटपुट पॉइंट सो एज यू कैन सी इन दिस project we are doing a project of a 4 bit adder so this is a uh, this is the circuit of a 4 bit adder so first we have designed a full adder with three inputs x y carry in and two output sum and c out this full adder is designed using data flow modeling in vhdl language next we have defined a 4 bit full adder using the four instances of this full adder so this is done using structural modeling style in vhdl so as you can see this is a 4 bit adder it, it is having two inputs which are each of four bits and the sum sum is also a output which is again of four bits and it is using the four instances of the full adder that we have defined earlier next you can see so this is the project summary so we are using a basis 3 fpga board next you can see this is the constraint file so we have defined the pins for our four inputs a0 a1 a2 a3 and b0 b1 b2 b3 then we have also defined the pin for the carry in and we have also defined four outputs which are Z zero, Z one, Z two, Z three, and the final carry out, which is C out. We will run the synthesis part, then we will run the implementation part, and finally, we will open the timing reports. So when we open the timing reports, then we will go to unconstrained path because we have not till now we have not defined any constraint for any path. so as you can see from the timing summary report we will go to the unconstrained path so as you can see this is the timing constraint report and for the path which is from c in to c out it is having the highest delay of 15.963 so as you can see this is the path from c in to c out it is having a total delay of 15.963 where 4.541 is the logic delay and 11.421 is the net delay so net delay is due to the wire length from the input to the output and logic delay is due to produced due to the logic or the combinational circuit so uh, these two logic delay and net delay will add up to a value of 15.963 nanosecond so this is from c in to c out so this is the most critical part with the highest delay the next critical path is of 12.366 seconds from c underscore in to z1 so this is the so we have got the top 5 most critical paths so please like and share the video and subscribe the channel if you are liking this in the next step we are defining the constant so we have defined the maximum delay from our inputs to the output as 15.5 so for every path from the input to the output we have defined the maximum delay to be 15.5 so now we have constrained our input to output path so now no path is unconstrained all the paths are constrained again we will run the implementation so you can see all the user specified timing constraints are met in the design timing summary we can see that all the constraints are being satisfied and here also when we see the timing then we can see that the path which is from the b0 input to the c underscore out is now the most critical path so it has a, it is having a total delay of 7.824 and our we de, uh, we specified the maximum delay as 15.5 so there is a slack of 
because it is having a delay of 7.824 whereas the delayed the maximum delay could be 15.5 so it is having a setup slack of 7.676 so this is this path is having the highest delay and the minimum slack so now in the next step we have decreased the delay to 8.5 so we have constrained we have implemented a stricter constraint earlier the constraint was 15.5 now the constraint is 8.5 so again we will rerun the design designing part so now you can see the path from a1 input to z2 output is now becoming the most critical path with a total delay of 7.663 and the slack has now reduced to only 0.837 so this slack is very very minimum slack so in this way we can optimize the design also uh, from the viewpoint of timing using xilinx vivado so not only we can find the critical path but uh, we can find the slack also and for every path so uh, this is the basics some uh, timing analysis using xilinx vivado so let us try to reduce the constraint further and let us see whether we are having any hold violation as per now we are not having any hold violation now you can see when i constraint even further and make it 4.5 so as you can see now it is very very critical and now you can see that our design has failed to meet the timing requirements because the time that was 4.5 was very very low and there was negative slack so now we are having a negative slack of minus 12.275 it means that the timing constraints are not met so in this we can see that when we have put the maxim uh, the constraint to be 4.5 then the path from b0 to c out now it is the most critical path and it is having a negative slack so it means that we have to relax the timing by at least minus 2.763 for our design to work at present our design has failed it has not met the timing constraint whereas earlier when we put the delay as 8.5 then it was meeting the timing constraints so in this way we have optimized our design so 8.5 was the max was the best point and we can make it to 8 also but below 8 our design will fail so now you can see that when we put 4.5 because 4.5 was below it the design failed thank you please like and share the video and subscribe the channel for more such interesting videos on xilinx vivado